<sighs> Yo, what is up? Guys, I thought it would be interesting, I guess, to show a non-programmer, like a person that doesn't know how to code in any way at all, show their learning experience, right? So me just teaching them, you know, maybe some basic Python from scratch, which is what I'm going to do today. I think people like have problems like learning even the basics and stuff like that. So like they struggle a lot, you know, getting started. So, you know, it could be good to show, you know, someone... That sucks. Like I have no idea what I'm doing. He'll be able to maybe figure this out and then maybe that'll give some other people, in, you know, motivation because just showing how someone learns, right? And, mm -hmm. you know, maybe people overcomplicate things and then he can give an example of how that's not true. Okay. All right. Today we're going to be doing some basic Python stuff. I got it set up here. I made a repo. We're just going to be using basic Visual Studio code. And I mean, I guess let's start off by like, what do you know about coding like at all? Like, do you know anything? at all whatsoever absolutely nothing so you know zero yeah. zero percent Completely nothing okay absolutely nothing what do you know what python is i do know what python is Correct. okay what's python it is <laughs> <laughs> uh not an engine what's the word it's like it's like a software yeah no <laughs> no <laughs> It's a, it's a coding language. Yeah, it's a language. There you go. That's the so one I needed. So you type shit in... So there's different languages, mm -hmm. like Java, Python, C, C++, all that stuff. Uh -huh. Python is one of the most simple ones. That's okay. why it's in school and stuff like that. And yeah, that's the one we're going to be do using today. You write Python to make things happen. Okay. Okay, great. Cool. So let's start off with, um, you know, the basics. So what do you think this is doing? It's setting, uh, it's setting x to be equal to five. So if you use x in, like, code in the future, it would equate x to five, basically. I mean, that's pretty good. That's actually right. That's completely right. Okay. So then, what does this do? Same thing, but it would make y equate to ten if you. Type pretty y good, honestly. One. You don't even have to explain variables. That's pretty good. Okay. So then there's this thing called printing. So printing is going to be something that like gives us feedback basically okay so what do you think will get printed in this case 15 exactly that's completely right back that there we go 15 okay great genius right here that's pretty good that's pretty good <laughs> not gonna lie honestly i didn't expect you to understand variables that fast okay so that's good and then what, what what's happening here so again same thing but you're equating x to hello so like with what you did before if you did what does oh shit <laughs> so if i do let's say this mm -hmm. and then you do print x y what's gonna happen here it would print hello goodbye yeah that's actually right dude Congratulations, you're actually smart. There you go. Let's go. But we should obviously put a space in there because, like, you know, yeah, that's, it you know all together ugly. and stuff like that. Add okay, what do we together. think is going to happen in this case? All right, let's move into, you know, what's what's more... Com okay, okay, all right, here we go, here we go. This is going to be more complicated. Okay. Okay, what do you think is going to happen here? I don't know. I think it's going to print 10. Oof, not a bad guess. It's actually going to print 0 through 10. Okay, that makes So sense. within the range, it's going to go... I is going to get set from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's actually going to go to 9 because that's how it works in this okay. thing. But it's a loop. So this is like a little, this is called a loop. Uh -huh. And whatever happens below the loop is going to happen on a loop until it gets to the end of the range. Okay. If that makes sense. It, so it's going to loop ten, 10 different times from 0 up until 10. And well, up until 9. And then, um, well, 10 times. It's going to loop from zero, nine, ten times up until nine. Okay. And it's going to print. I is going to be assigned to a different number each time it's going to print that. So let's actually check that out. Make sure that I'm right about that. I mean, I haven't done Python in a while. Zero through nine, like I said. Okay. I'm, you know, really smart. We all know that. This guy. Okay. So, I mean, that's good. So let's think about this then. Okay. What's going to happen here then? Just since we just talked about this. Yeah. So it would do the same thing, except it would go, I assume, to 19. Exactly right. Perfect. Okay. Okay, what about if how come it doesn't it does so it doesn't do the end oh so maybe if you put instead of a parenthesis if you put a bracket would it include the twenty? No. Oh okay. So how come it doesn't include the the end of the range? 
you that's just how it works and if oh, you okay. wanted to you just make it 21 okay. so it's not a big deal but okay what happens if we do this what do you think that does okay give me a minute give me a minute give me a minute all the time in the world okay everything's on the line though just so you know <laughs> <laughs> it's it's gonna print zero to 19 as it did the last time and it's going to i think you had it there it's gonna print zero to 19 as it did last time but instead what are you thinking man I just, I'm trying to think of what the two means. I just can't. The two would have to mean lists one and two after tw- after 19. No. It no. skips by twos. It skips by twos. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that. Yeah. No, that's fine, dude. So um, it would go zero, two, four, six, eight. Yeah. So okay. zero, two, four, six, eight, all the way up until 18. Okay. Because, yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. So does that just happen anytime you, like, if you include, never mind, that makes sense. Okay. Now, what do you think is going to happen in this case? Okay, I got it. So, it's going to start at either 20 or 19. I'm going to assume 19, and it's going to go down to zero? Yes. Okay. 100%. Yeah. It's going to start at, it will start at 20, and then I think it might go to um, one. Okay. Yeah, it goes to one, because okay. this one, the second one's always the one that's like weird with all that stuff. Got it. But definitely going down, so that's good. All right, that's basics of loops. The brain. So, that's pretty good. Okay, what's going to happen if we do this? I'm thinking it's going to print hello either at the start or the beginning, or the start or the end, and then it's going to do 20 to zero, twenty to 1 in descending order. No, it just prints hello 20 times in a row. So this range is basically how many times the loop is going to go. This range oh, is just okay. how many times it's going. Okay. And then you can also, we just have this I thing So in you're there. setting the, like, the if, basically, or the for in this case for what's for when this will happen or whatever or how this is going to happen this this range this this is just it's called a for loop so yeah. the word for is just a thing for looping so it doesn't mm-hmm. do anything and yeah. then the range is just made to show how many times something is going to loop over and over again yeah it can loop 10 times it can loop 20 times it can loop backwards forwards all that time but it's just spinning and whatever's in here is happening however many times it's spinning around you know what i'm saying so essentially if you did if you did four and what I happens range. is this I is being assigned to this first thing. Yeah. And it starts at 20. And then the I becomes 19 every time it goes around. And then 18, 17. You know what I mean? The yeah. I keeps getting set to the numbers and shit. Okay. It's a difficult concept to understand from yeah. like a really beginner perspective. I actually had trouble with like, I was like, what is the I? How is the I? I don't get how, you know what I mean? Yeah, that like was really what, what is the relevance? But it, that's just for like if a p- I appears in the If code. we want to use I, it doesn't even have to be I. It could. This is just a variable that we're using to show so what anything. loop we're on, you know what I mean? So yeah, it could be cat. And if we print cat, then it's going to print 20 to, you know what I mean? So yeah. that's just how it works. It's kind of a weird concept, but you know what? All right, that's good. I mean, let's move on from this. Okay, so what do you think this is? So you're setting x to be equal to that range of numbers one through seven. Sure, it's it's just a list. So it's called a list. It's just mm. a collection of numbers. Oh, okay. And then we can do pretty cool things with the list. So, what do you think is gonna happen if we do this? It should print the list of numbers. Exactly. Perfect. So it loops through it, each number, and I keeps getting assigned to each of these numbers. Mm-hmm. So we run this. See, prints all the numbers. So mm-hmm. that's pretty good. And then, of course, if we do this, you know, what's going to happen now? It's going to print in three lines, hello, what up, yo. Exactly, perfect. So you can loop through the list and do, you know, different things. I keeps getting assigned to stuff. So that's why it's kind of cool. Like, that's why you can do, that's kind of the basics. This is kind of where you can kind of start to understand why coding's like, cool. Mm-hmm. Is because... You know, on these websites, right, if they're taking everyone's phone number and age and, you know, when you sign up on an account, right, they have all your information and then they want to loop through each person Mm -hmm. and they have everyone in a giant list and then they had to just, they could just write this tiny little loop and then they could just, if they had something that called people, they could just say, call I, you know, if each person was I, if they wanted to call everyone and they had thousands of people, it's a click of a button and that's how easy it is. You know yeah, what I mean? So totally. that's why coding is kind of cool. Super you sweet. Can, you know, do stuff like that. It's super simple. Three yeah. lines instead of calling 4,000 people, you do this. Boom. Mm-hmm. All right. So the last thing I'm going to show you is called a function. So a function is basically just a set of stuff 
that you can you know you basically make a bunch of stuff happen within the function mm -hmm. like you name a function right like add two numbers for example and you could take in you know some data or whatever like that and then whatever happens below here you can write a ton of code that does all this stuff and then you can use this one little line of code down below and mm -hmm. it'll do everything that's in here every single time over and over again if that kind of makes sense okay so for example if we made this function print x then we do print y then we do print x plus y and then down below we call this function add two numbers and then we put in like five and ten mm -hmm. then what do you think this does so it should print five or yeah it'll print five and ten and then it'll put print 15. exactly so we can make these things our own we can just define these by ourselves they could mm -hmm. take in certain things and then they could do things and then we could use the very whatever we call them down here mm -hmm. to like do you know certain things so then we could do it with 10 and 15 so now whenever we want to add two numbers we can call this and you could obviously take this to like a much higher level where it does mm -hmm. like crazier things with like a million you know yeah, variables and stuff like bigger, that yeah. for example like like when you sign up on an account mm -hmm. like on a website or something like this so mm -hmm. i'd call this sign up so in this for this then we have like the sign up function so now all we have to do is get the person's thing so when they actually type it in mm -hmm. we would just take it and then we would pass it in through here so if i pat made you know passed in nick so yeah well you know what i mean like you use the function down here and it's mm -hmm. one line compared to me writing this every single time mm -hmm. and like putting all of this like person.name equals nick person.age equals 22 person.username equals this i would have to write this over and over and over again for yeah. each person instead i just make this one little block and then i can use that like sign up word gotcha so that's the main things i mean those are literally like the main things of coding mm -hmm. um besides that like it does well obviously it gets like way more way complicated. more complicated but i mean that's like kind of the basics i guess i got the gist of it yeah so i mean basically i'm kind you're of hard. a genius now <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh could i get fang now yeah you can get fang sick let's go i'm gonna try it out all right, sick. Yeah. So this is uh, Jack, by the way. He's going to be moving in with me and Tren um, soon, very soon in the next month or something. But yeah, so hopefully Jack, you know, made it. You know, if you're struggling with coding, I mean, look how easy it is. Maybe find someone and sit down with someone who knows it because I think it's way easier for me to explain it to you than it might be like learning in a giant university or something like that yeah. or online. If you can actually find someone that is an engineer that can sit down and like teach you this stuff, I think he's like getting it like right away. Like that took me like a whole semester in college to understand. So maybe try, you know, professors that. suck. Yeah, professors suck yeah. and stuff like that. All right, go subscribe to Jack, blah, blah, blah. All right, peace. See you in the next video. Bye. Peace.